astronomers have identified the nearest black hole to Earth, marking the initial definitive observation of a stellar mass black hole in the Milky Way. The very short distance of around 1600 light years between Earth and this object makes it an interesting subject for research since it can provide valuable insights on the development of binary systems. The discovery was facilitated through the monitoring of the black hole's partner, a star similar to the Sun which orbits the black hole at a distance comparable to the Earth's orbit around the Sun. Although there are probably millions of black holes with masses similar to those of a star in the Milky Way galaxy, the ones that have been observed were discovered through their energetic interactions with the neighboring star. As matter from a star in close proximity gradually moves inside towards the black hole, it undergoes extreme heating and produces intense X-rays and streams of material. When a black hole is not actively consuming matter, it remains in a dormant state and cannot be directly detected. The inactive black hole has a mass around 10 times greater than that of the Sun. It is situated around 1600 light years away in the Ophiuchus constellation, putting it three times nearer to Earth compared to the previous record holder. There are two predominant types of black hole in the cosmos. Supermassive black holes are initially discovered residing near the core of galaxies where they exhibit intense activity. These celestial bodies do not currently pose any danger to humankind unless our galaxy undergoes a collision with another galaxy, such as the Andromeda galaxy, after several billion years. Another category include interstellar black holes, which are created during the supernova explosion of a massive star. These objects typically have a size of only a few dozen miles. One of the closest black holes to us is called Cygnus X1, located approximately 6,000 light years distant. It has a diameter of about 44 kilometers or 27 miles. If a black hole similar to Cygnus X1 were to approach the solar system within a distance of around one light year, the gravitational effects it would exert would result in a state of disorder and confusion. The trajectories of the outer planets and comets would undergo substantial and potentially catastrophic modifications, thereby jeopardizing the orbits of the inner planets and even the Sun. Nevertheless, if the black hole were to traverse the solar system directly, the situation would deteriorate significantly. The black hole would traverse the Oort cloud, situated at a distance 100,000 times farther than the distance between Earth and the Sun. There is a potential for a significant influx of comets moving towards Earth and the other planets. Apart from this sudden increase of comets, however, things may not appear to be in disarray initially. As the black hole traversed the solar system, it would remain imperceptible to us except for its subtle gravitational lensing impact on faraway stars. An accretion disk, consisting of superheated dust and gas, forms around the black hole only after the outer gas giant planets begin to vent gas. In this way, the formidable potency of the black hole is readily apparent to us here on Earth. Black holes can drift throughout the galaxy instead of following a circular path around the galactic center. These black holes are commonly referred to as rogue black holes. There is speculation that a black hole may exist near the outer boundary of our solar system, exerting its gravitational pull on the orbits of the outer planets. In order for the Earth to be annihilated, it would necessitate an extremely proximate interaction with a substantial black hole. The consequences of the encounter would be disastrous long before the Earth is obliterated. The significant disruption of the planetary orbits has the potential to expel the Earth or another planet from the solar system, a scenario that might be equally or even more catastrophic than being engulfed by a black hole. However, there is minimal reason for concern, stating that the probability of a black hole passing through our solar system is quite small. Although the size of this black hole is several thousand times smaller than any planet, its mass would be several thousand times bigger. Consequently, any planets that happen to be in its trajectory would be consumed, including ones of comparable size to Jupiter. If our ability to observe the black hole was limited, 
we would undoubtedly observe the planets undergoing catastrophic disintegration. Once the black hole approached the asteroid belt situated between Mars and Jupiter, our situation would appear grim. The formidable gravitational force exerted by the black hole would have fragmented our globe, resulting in catastrophic seismic activity and unprecedented supervolcanic eruption. Once Earth enters orbit, our planet is destined for destruction, transforming into a scorched and inhospitable rock filled with molten magma. Shortly after, Mercury and Venus will face a similar fate. The ultimate confrontation between the black hole and the sun would not be as unbalanced. A gravitational struggle would occur, and depending on the initial mass of the black hole, there is a possibility that the sun may endure in some manner. Regrettably, the most probable outcome is that the sun will be disintegrated and assimilated into the planets, becoming part of the turbulent and intensely hot dust and gas around the black hole. The accretion disk would span a vast distance of hundreds of thousands or possibly millions of miles from the comparatively little black hole located at its core. This disk would supplant our solar system, transforming it into a circular inferno comprised of the deceased beings it previously contained. If the black hole trajectory gets close enough to be observed with our telescopes, like several light years away, we can calculate its path, which will intersect the solar system in some thousands of years. There is nothing to get excited about just yet, but humanity should start the preparations. Stellar engineering will get some real funding, for example. We don't have any way to grab a small star or even one of our solar system planets to throw at it, but who knows what we will be able to do a thousand years from now. The idea of migrating to some other somewhat Earth-like planet also gets some real funding. Well, if we suppose that none of that works, the black hole, with several solar masses, plows through the solar system, totally destroying our neat system of planetary and moon and asteroid and comet orbits, then various planets and moons will take up new orbits around the sun or the black hole, or will be flung into interstellar space. Hardly anything is at all likely to fall in. The only real problem is if it could happen today, then everybody dies because we lack the technology to mitigate it. But in a thousand years, a lot can happen. We could power our civilization on fusion energy. Also, geothermal, which will be good for billions of years. We can leave Earth altogether or we can move the Earth in a safer location. Fortunately, the probability of this entire event happening is quite low. You need to win the lottery 10 times in a row to match the chance of a black hole to enter the solar system. If, by chance, you manage to win the lottery on 10 consecutive occasions, do inform us so that we may promptly commence our state of alarm and make the preparations.